we're going to talk a little bit about variables. Um, variables are placeholders in memory for the computer to store things. Just like in your room, if somebody tells you, hey, you know what, can I store 54 boxes that I have in your room? The first thing you'll ask, well, is, hey, well, how big are they to see if they fit? So the same thing with Java. You, there's, there, there's a way to tell Java how big is the storage that you're going to need. And the second thing that you would ask your friend is, well, what's in them? I mean, I don't want to store any animals that you have. I might not be able, I might not be willing to store any nuclear waste that you might have. I mean, who knows, right? Or something with fungi, who knows? You, th there are certain things that you're willing to store because you know how to deal with them, and then certain things that you're not willing to store because you, don't know, you do not know how to deal with them. So Java does the same thing. With Java, we can specify how much room we need to store things and what are those things to see if Java can deal with them. Okay. Um, so for example, if I want to tell Java, hey, create a placeholder for a number, Okay, I will say, I will say, uh, int, and then we give, have, to have to label this placeholder. So we'll label it um, uh, hours worked. Okay, because I just want to store, you know, how many hours I've worked. It's an integer placeholder for the number of hours that I worked. By saying int, we've told Java A. This is of type integer, so you can deal with it. <clears throat> and B, it can contain numbers up to um, 2,147,400, uh, I'm sorry, 2,147,483,644 to 3,147,484,648 that. Okay? But you cannot store numbers that are not integers. So for example, 3.5, you couldn't store 3.5. And then there are others, uh, this sound that you're hearing is my coffee maker, so my challenge is to finish this before my coffee is ready. So the next, the, the other type, for example, could be double, right, uh, hourly rate, okay? So now I've created a placeholder for my hourly rate. And then the, the good thing about this is that I can do some operations like system.out.print line and then hours worked times hourly rate. Okay? And then um, I will save this and compile. It is saved. Now I compile this. Oops, I have a problem here. Oh yeah, sure. So now what is it going to print here, right? Hours work times hourly rate. It's going to print two placeholders. So this is what it's telling me here. This, this, this error here, variable hours might not have been initialized and variable hourly rate might not have been initialized. It's telling me, hey, you have two placeholders, but there's nothing in them. So let's put something in them. Hours worked. Let's say I worked uh, 67 hours this week, and then hourly rate, let's say, is $8.9 an hour. Okay? I'm going to save and compile. Operation complete. You can see that here. And then I'm going to run with the little guy. And then it tells me that my salary should be 596.3. Okay? That should be my, my, my salary. Now, it is important to note the following. If I, for example, this is this is something that I, I need to uh, cover. A, a double will be a number point something, okay? So if I print something like this, system dot out dot print line, just to pay attention to this line, two plus or two divided by two divided by four, okay? I'll just print that out. I'll, I'll, I'll print it. What, what should it print? It should print 0 0.5. Wrong. It prints 0. Because, and this is something very important about variables, they have to be good friends. They have to be compatible. Okay? So 2 divided by 4 is an integer. 
and the result is going to be an integer. 2 divided by 4 is 0 0.5, but the integer part of that is 0. So if you're dividing two integers, the result is going to be the integer part of it. If you want to divide and make the result be a double or make the result have decimal points, at least one of these numbers has to be of type double or float. We're going to talk about float, but at least one of these numbers has to be of a type that allows decimals. So if we put 2.0, that makes this 2 be a double. So a double divided by, the, by an integer, now that's going to be a double. The result's going to be double, and we'll see 0 0.5 here in the output. See it? So it's very important to, to um, and this is one of the reasons in, in, a, in a previous video why at first we didn't get what we wanted, and then we put 2.0, and then we got what we wanted. So it's very important to, to know what the results of, of an expression are. This is an expression that involves our squared, which is an int, and our rate, which is a double. The result of this is going to be a double. If we have 2 divided by 4, this is an int, this is a, the other one is an int, the result of this expression is an int. However, if we put 2.0, we'll have a double, and an int, and the result of this expression is going to be a double. Okay. Now, continuing with our example, and to finish, it's much easier to type 67 here and 8.9 in here. Right? But what if this can change, and you can you want to create like a calculator that that actually asks you for the hours worked and for the hourly rate and just computes it itself? Look at this. We've used we've told Java that we're going to use the scanner at some point. Just like we have the hours worked and the hourly rate, we're going to have a placeholder for scanner for a scanner called keyboard, okay? And then just like we have, just like we had the hours worked and the hourly rate equal something, we're going to put something on keyboard. So we're going to say keyboard is going to be a new scanner system dot n. This means, hey, in the space in the storage space reserved for a scanner. Put the scanner that is going to read from the keyboard, okay, from the system in. So then, what we what we can say then now is this: we can system that out that print line. Um, enter hours worked, and then here we say hours worked equals gbd dot next int. So in the placeholder for the hours worked, put whatever the next the next integer that was entered via the keyboard. Put it there. And then equally we put system dot out dot print line enter the hourly rate and then we'll put in hourly rate, we'll put kbd next double. Okay, I'm not sure the next double will work, but we'll see. And then here we'll print out hours work times hourly rate. So let's compile this and run. So enter the hours worked. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Enter the, hour, the hours worked, um, 67. Enter the hourly rate, 8.9. So then it tells me that 596 is my rate. Okay. So then I can run this again to for the next one, the next one, the next one. And now putting here hours worked and hourly rate makes, makes perfect sense because I'm not committing to a number. I'm committing to whatever the user has entered. Take a look at this program, analyze it, and we'll see you next time. I'm going for my coffee now.